Hey guys, it's Josh coming to you live with another Barefoot Shoe Review and today we're doing a company that we've done before, but it's a new model. So before we jump into the review though, hit like, hit subscribe, hit notify. Like, subscribe, notify, the usual YouTube stuff. You're going to want to catch my videos when they come out so you don't miss anything. And then next, you're going to want to follow me on Instagram at Barefoot Shoe Josh, Barefoot Shoe Josh on Instagram because I do more detailed reviews there than what I do here. Plus, Barefoot shoes on the Instagram feed. What, what's the problem? What's what's the question? <laughs> All right, so follow me there on Instagram. Let's get into the review. This is a company we've done before. It's Freet Footwear out of the UK. They do have distribution in the US, so don't worry if you're here in the US. They have shoes here for you. It's it's uh, shipping from the US, uh, so the shipping costs are down and it's quick and all that good stuff. So awesome company, Freet Footwear. The the model that we're doing today is the Freet Swale. S-W-A-L-E, the Freet Swale, and uh, I love it. They just can't, had a new line of shoes come out. They probably released about, gosh, I don't know, eight or ten new models in these last month or two. And out of all of them, this is the one I wanted to try. They kindly gifted me this to give an honest review here, so here I am. Uh, why did I want this one? First of all, I'm in Southern California, and this is a like ideally uh, a warm weather hiking shoe very breathable, very light. It's not waterproof, water resistant or anything like that. They call it their most minimal booty. <laughs> now, we're not talking booty like pirate booty. We're not talking the other kind of booty, but uh, you know, like a high top shoe is what they mean by that. It's not really like a boot, it's a booty. <laughs> so how many times can I say booty in one video? <laughs> so anyways, let's get to it, all right? First of all, of course, it's free. So it's a barefoot shoe company. They uphold all the barefoot shoe values, the four values that I call them. Well, first one being zero drop from heel to toe. It's a perfectly flat surface. There's no heels and no toe springs. Secondly, on the inside of the shoe, you have no arch supports because your arches are just fine the way they are as long as you treat them uh, like arches and let them be strong and stay strong. Okay, so zero drop, no arch support. They are shoes shaped like a human foot, anatomically foot shaped, wide toe boxes. Now, you know, we all, there are different shapes of feet out there. And, and accordingly, there are different shapes of barefoot shoes. Now, you can see this shape is kind of like a slope shape or maybe a plateau shape. If you have that shape of foot, it's perfect. If you have like a more square kind of shape of foot, you might need to get, you know, a little bit longer if you think your pinky pinky toes might bump into the side or that kind of thing. So adjust accordingly. But it's on the wider end of the barefoot shoe spectrum, Freet is. This particular model, just to give you for scale, uh, is a size 45 that, that I wear. And the insole, I just measured it, is about 10.9 centimeters. So that's pretty wide. I have 11 centimeter shoes. I mean, sorry, 11 centimeter wide feet. And so that one millimeter, I'm not gonna feel that at all. And if you have a couple more than that, you probably won't either because these are plenty flexible. So if, if needed, they would bow out, you know, past the, the width of the insole for sure uh, to, to give you a little more room if you have wider feet than that. But these are at the wider end of the spectrum and a nice anatomic foot shape. Okay, lastly, uh, barefoot shoe values. Number four, we have uh, flexible, thin flexible soles with uh, good ground feel. So this guy, as you can see, has that. Now, and that is with the removable insole still in there. <laughs> but it also does the, uh, you know, what I call the hot dog bun test and, you know, the twisty test and, uh, you know, the wavy test for those of you that have been around the channel for a while. You guys like the wavy test? Um, why is all that important? Because your feet, you know, need to do foot stuff. Like, especially if you're out hiking, stepping on rocks, you want to feel the rocks, you know, you want your foot to bow over and get your grip on and do your thing, right? You want your feet to be able to, to move like natural feet. And that's the whole day idea of barefoot shoes. So zero drop, no arch supports, anatomic foot shape, and thin flexible soles all in place. Since we're talking about soles right now, I'm going to start getting to the specifics of this particular model. And I just mentioned a second ago that three millimeter insole, removable, boom, take it out. It's they're called their Air Max insole. It's brand new. Check it out. Uh, I think you can probably even see my bald head through there because <laughs> it's got, it's perforated. It's very breathable. Why is that important? Because if you're like me, your feet run a little hot and uh, you're looking for any airflow you can get. You see, you can see the difference between the wall and the fence back here. You can probably see my hand saying hi. I'm not sure. I can't see on my phone, but anyway, it's very see-through. If I hold it like this, I can see the sky. I can see the mountains and the houses across the street right now. So, um, super breathable, thin, flexible. I can't, I mean, three millimeter, it doesn't even look like it's three millimeters to me, but anyway, if you want to 
take that guy out, you know, even with this in there, it's six and a half to seven millimeters total stack height. You take this out, you're down to four millimeter soles. Beautiful. And this is their new, what's it called again? Uh, trail grip outsole. This just came out with this most recent line. And so, you know, they have some more hardcore hiking ones with really chunky lugs. And then they have some street shoes that are just, you know, mostly flat. And, and this is kind of a, a comfortable in between. It's designed for kind of more medium difficulty hikes, not the hardest possible hikes, but, and also for casual wear. As you can see, the styling, you know, can go for everyday wear to the mall or, or, or wherever you're going or for hiking. So, um, it, that trail grip sole is specifically designed to, uh, be easy to clean out. Like it doesn't have those hard 90 degree angles where the mud likes to stick in there and clog and you gotta be digging with knives and sticks and all kinds of stuff in there. Look at it. You can just rinse it out, knock it off, done deal. Um, Cause the, those cuts are all slanted, you see? Super cool, beautiful shoe. And I know it looks like there's an arch support, but that's just the shape of the rubber on the outside. It's a perfect flat surface in there. I already took that insole out. So now I'm down to four millimeters. You can probably even see now it's gonna be even more flexible than it was a minute ago. Look at this. This is a hiking shoe, a high top hiking shoe or a booty, if you will. <laughs> I'm gonna see how many times I can say booty in this video, all right? Um, okay, so now to the materials here. Oh, actually, we're still on the sole. One more thing. I want you to notice the stitching. See there's stitching around here? What does that mean? It's a stitch on sole. Why is that important? It's more durable. 90 plus percent of the barefoot shoes I review on here have glued on soles. I'm not hating on glued on soles. They're fine. I haven't had problems except on one pair of shoes ever where the sole was peeling off. Uh, so for the most part, you're okay. But on a hiking shoe, the more durable, the better. Sewed on soles is better than not if you can get it. And here you get it. Okay. Now the material on the upper is super cool. It's called bottle yarn fly knit. What does that mean? Bottle yarn fly knit. It's yarn made out of bottles, recycled plastic bottles, because Freet is uh, all about sustainability and all that kind of stuff. So, Hey, you can take recycled bottles, keep them out of the oceans and turn them into yarn and make them into a shoe. And this is a single knitted piece of bottle yarn fly knit all the way around. So no seams or rough edges on your, on your little feet. The one exception, of course, being there is a tongue involved here on this particular model. They have some models that don't have tongues. I've reviewed some other models here. The, the, uh, the other one I'm thinking of right now is the Free Tanga that's made out of recycled coffee grounds. Dude, I, who knew that you could make shoes out of recycled coffee grounds? I don't know, but Freet did. And uh, those are awesome shoes. I've also done my most lightest, most minimal barefoot shoe I own is the Freet Talus 3. Love that shoe. And then I have a more hardcore hiking boot called the Freet Tundra. I've reviewed all those. Check them out. So if you don't like this particular model, they probably have 20, 25 models now on their shoes. If you don't like this one, they probably have something that you would. So check out their website. Use my link down below to get there because it'll help you out. I'll tell you about more about that in a minute. Okay. Uh, what have I not covered? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's vegan. So if that's important to you, it's made fully vegan friendly. No animal products or anything used in this in this shoe and it's just a beautiful shoe. Oh, real quick, I forgot to tell you the price. These go for, the Freet Swale goes for 115 US dollars. 115 US dollars, but you get 10% off if you use my code. So use my code, hello, that'll save you $11.50. That brings you basically down to a cool one Benjamin Franklin, 100 bucks for a lightweight, highly breathable, hot weather friendly uh, hiking shoe the most minimal booty. If you want to have the most minimal booty, 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 grab it now, use my code, save 10%. All right, cool. So with that, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try them on my feet, let you get a look at them. I have not even put them on my feet yet. Don't know anything about how they fit or whatever. So, but I'm gonna show you what they look like. I'm gonna go off camera for a few days. I'm gonna try, try them out on these hills out here beside my house, go on some hikes and give you the real skinny, my final conclusions when I come back. All right, thanks for watching. See you in a minute.
now that I've been trying them out for a few days, both walking around the streets and sidewalks, as you can tell, I'm on a pretty, <laughs> pretty steep hill by my breathing. But anyways, um, anyway, I've tested them out on walks. Casual areas, of course, they're fine. But out here on the trails, fantastic. No questions, no reservations. Freet Swale is where it's at for a lightweight, minimal booty <laughs> hiking shoe. Can't go wrong. Peace out. Check you on the next video. Thanks for watching.